live action. A little tiny turtle was uh, just sitting in the middle of the sand here. I'm going to put him, I don't know where to, I don't want him to get stepped on, but a little tiny snapping turtle. The size of my thumb. Here you go, buddy. Here we are, New Jersey, right over there. That's Atlantic City, and I am at the end of a magical road called Seven Bridges Road in New Jersey. Something I've been wanting to explore for a while, and um, really, it's a beautiful spot. You can just come down here, there's a guy fishing down there. You go driving down this, this road, that has seven bridges, and uh, it's kind of a nothing really going on except fishing. There is a little piece of property owned by Rutgers University, but it's pretty cool. And anyway, we're going to explore Seven Bridges Road. And we're just going to see what's going on on Seven Bridges Road. Somewhere around here, there is a base of a radio tower. I'm going to go look for it. There's a radio tower. The German military built a uh, radio tower. It was the largest man-made... Ah, we got to go find it. we got to go find that. That's what we're looking for. Before I get on the scooter, I'm just going to explore this little trail. Oh, a butterfly in the sky. I can go just as high. Take a look. It's in a book. There it is. Not too shabby. It's a postcard. It's as pretty as a postcard. Speaking of postcards, if you want to get a postcard from me, all you have to do is sign up for Patreon. Give me five bucks or ten bucks a month. You get early previews, bonus videos, and uh, videos just made for you guys. And uh, if you give, like I said, you give me five bucks or ten bucks a month, you get a postcard. Yeah, so this is at the very end of Seven Bridges Road. You just come through this little pathway and it gets you to that little beach at the end. We are now on the road known as Seven Bridges Road. Man, I wish you guys had smell-o-vision, because it smells so good. Well, actually, I don't wish you had smell-o-vision, because a lot of the times when I make videos, you smell, like, piss and, <laughs> and other things. But this, today's video, smells pretty good. Look at the power lines. Wow, it really is really beautiful. It's about an hour or so, hour and change from Philadelphia. Look at that big bird. Look at that big bird. Yeah, check out this bridge, man. How cool is this? Hey, you drive your car over this thing, man. So cool. Great view. You got some people boating over here, fishing. Can't really ride your scooter over the boardwalk. I tell you what. That's eh, not in bad shape.
I guess that was the first bridge. Looks like this is some type of a boat launch, or maybe it was a boat launch. A little, I don't know if you want to drop your boat from here. some radio towers looks like that's like weather equipment that's not going over another one of the many bridges on seven bridges road all throughout the uh the road of seven bridges road there's like these little places where you can cut off and then go fishing a lot of people are like parking and like just sitting there like looking at their phone seems like a weird thing to do sit here and look at your phone also the Wi-Fi here sucks so I don't know they have fantastic cell phone connections yeah, and the road goes on like this I don't know it's a few miles long it goes all the way down and here's another one of those little cutaways you go here go fishing or crabbing is Captain Mike's Marina. A lot of birds on this trail. If you're one of those bird dorks, you like to go birding. That's what that's what bird dor dorks call bird watching. They call it birding. Birding. Not birding like B U R. Birding, B I R D. I talk funny. I have a funny accent. All types of different birds. And uh, you know what? I'm going to drive back to the car. Drive back to the car. And I'll, you know, do this in the car. Socks and slides are not really the best thing to scoot in. And I can also just pull over and show you some cool scenic spots. Plus, we got to find radio tower. This guy ran the green light. Wow. It's his world. We're living in it. No jumping or diving off the bridges. That's what the sign says. Uh, yeah, you jump off. How do you get back up? That's the... You got all this marsh. Man. I don't know how many people actually uh, rode the scooter back here, right? Not not really the best ground to scoot on. The street's not paved the best, but it's not too bad. Some of the when you just so you know, if you ever go scooting, don't scoot on the uh, sandy rocks. You just slip and fall. One of those cutaways I was talking about. Man, you got some people. Fishing over there. God, it smells so good here. end of this boardwalk that is Rutgers University Marine and Coastal Science Building that's a pretty good spot and all of these power lines are here to supply electricity to those buildings this is a horseshoe crab I haven't seen one of these guys up close in person in a while when I was a uh, When I was a kid, my Uncle Mike would take me to a beach somewhere near Wildwood, New Jersey. And there would be nothing but horseshoe crabs. And we would go there and flip them back over. The horseshoe crabs, once they... If they get... If they get stuck like this, they can't flip themselves over. So sometimes we would go around the beach 
and help the horseshoe crabs. But I haven't. I mean, I remember the one time I went down there as a kid. There was uh, hundreds of horseshoe crabs. You, you hardly ever see them down the Jersey Shore anymore. Although, I don't go to the Jersey Shore too often. Yeah, man, this is awesome. I highly recommend, uh, you know, I'm a little bummed. Playoffs are over, and, uh, you know, I, I just got... I needed a day to get away, and uh, one of my ways to get away is to smell the salt water, look at the ocean, hear the sounds, and, uh, you know, find inner peace. Because when I think about the Phillies right now, I don't have inner peace. Maybe this is the uh, a boat launch right here. Look at this old pier. How cool is this, man? Check out this old dock. Boy, I'm risking. I'm very risking. <laughs> They're not very sturdy right there, It's, <laughs> but these, surprisingly, not too bad. I wouldn't recommend. I'm going to walk on this part. And I love this. I really thought I was going to live in Philadelphia all my life, but I've been traveling <laughs> the last month and little road trips like this, like a little Jersey road trip. And I will never live in New Jersey. Let me say, let me say that clear. The taxes in New Jersey... Are just are just too high so uh but i i have been to colorado and california and i don't think i could uh afford california it's kind of expensive but uh yeah i think i think soon and i'm not i'm never moving to florida i don't know you google the hurricane that just hit um and uh it's crazy i don't know how people uh Weather's scary everywhere. So you got to kind of pick your poison on where you want to live. Now, northeast, we got snow. Snow and traffic are the worst things about the... And crime. Those are pretty bad. Um, Colorado, man. Colorado is so beautiful. Um, but they got they got worse winters than we do. So I can't go there. Maybe I, I just want heat. I just want... I, I don't want to do winter anymore. It's just my, my joints hurt. My back hurts. And for some reason, warm weather and salt air really help help me uh, help my mood. So I figured out a little out. place called Turtle Gardens, and uh, right here they have this habitat. I guess to help turtles breed. Do turtles lay eggs? Turtles lay eggs, right? I think so. I got this sign right here. Turtle crossing. Both sides. I don't see... I don't see any turtles crossing the road. Matter of fact, I don't see... anything on this road. a sign that says give seals space 
So I'm guessing occasionally you'll see seals somewhere on this beach. This is called the Great Bay, or that's called the Great Bay. I'm, I'm assuming it's the same thing. Um, I've never seen a seal in New Jersey. If you've seen a seal in New Jersey, let me know. Or a sea lion. Never really thought about it. There's a difference, huh? I'm, I don't know. I have to be at least two miles from the beach where I was standing at, near the Rutgers University uh, Science Lab for marine studies. And this is another turtle crossing sign. this UFO picking up a turtle I'm about know, about a five minute drive from Seven Mile Bridge I'm on a little place called Mystic Island and this my friend is a 25 foot 25 foot high it's bigger than well, almost the same size as the house across the street and this was oh I see you friend this was the base of the second largest man made tower ever made the first horse is the Eiffel Tower but this was the base or the anchor this was the base to the Tuckerton Tower. It was 825 feet high and built in 1912 by Germany. Not the, not the, you know, not, not Adolf, but back, uh, funny thing is this tower, it, this base just sits here and people have to drive around it in the middle of the street. And the Germans built this tower for a few years, and, and it took them a while, <laughs> the, the radio tower, to communicate uh, to another tower in Germany. It was the most powerful uh, transatlantic radio antenna ever made. It also communicated with uh, German submarines in the Atlantic Ocean. It's definitely bigger than all the houses on this. Well, not that one, but the majority of the houses on this street. 25 feet big. And it goes down in the ground 20 feet because it was an anchor to that tower. That's outrageous. And they just left it here. And people will just drive around this. It's been here over 100 years. I'm sure if you're a local, you know why it's here but I'm sure there are people who go who come you know visit somebody that lives on one of these streets and they'll say yo Agnes what's going on with that big uh, chunk of concrete and they go oh, the German Germans built it back in uh, and they go oh no the Germans Hitler no not Hitler before Hitler check out this uh, luncheonette Lucille's and there he is the Jersey Devil Kinda getting elf vibes. And check out this. Uh oh. Sign of the past. Shout out to my buddy Adam the Woo. Congratulations on surviving another hurricane. Why would you live in Florida? I don't know, but Blue Seals Luncheonette. Briar's ice cream. Started in the neighborhood of Frankfurt. Not too far from where I live. That's a cool little sign. 1975. The Jersey Devil House. Tours and meals open seven days a week. This is where the Jersey Devil lives. Uh-oh. 